In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you, and with your spirit. Greetings, good people of God. You are listening to Catholic Meditation. I am Father Blessed Ambang Njume. Today is Saturday, the 14th of September, 2024. It is Saturday of the 23rd week in Ordinary Time, Church Yebi. Good morning and thanks for joining us. Today, the Church celebrates the Feast of the Exaltation of the Holy Cross. Let us pray. O God, who willed that your only begotten Son should undergo the cross to save the human race, grant, we pray, that we who have known his mystery on earth may merit the grace of his redemption in heaven. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. The first reading is taken from the book of Numbers, chapter 21, verses 4 to 9. The responsorial psalm is taken from Psalm 78, The response to the psalm is, Never forget the deeds of the Lord. The second reading is taken from the letter of St. Paul to the Philippians, chapter 2, verses 6 to 11. The gospel is taken from St. John, chapter 3, verses 13 to 17. I read from the first reading. In those days, the people became impatient on the way. And the people spoke against God and against Moses. Why have you brought us up out of Egypt to die in the wilderness? For there is no food and no water, and we loathe this worthless food. Then the Lord sent fiery serpents among the people, and they beat the people so that many sons of Israel died. And the people came to Moses and said, We have sinned. For we have spoken against the Lord and against you. Pray to the Lord that he take away the serpents from us. So Moses prayed for the people, and the Lord said to Moses, Make a fiery serpent and set up as a sign, and everyone who is bitten when he sees it shall live. So Moses made a bronze serpent and set it up as a sign, and if a serpent bit any man, he would look at the bronze serpent and live. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The theme for today's meditation is Your crosses are your road to glory. Love them. Carry them with joy. Do not hate nor curse them. Your crosses are your road to glory. Love them. Carry them with joy. Do not hate nor curse them. Dear good people of God, Today, the church celebrates the feast of the exaltation of the Holy Cross. The name exaltation of the Holy Cross itself sounds a little awkward. How do you exalt the cross? How do you praise a cross? If there is one church that talks a lot about the cross of Christ, about our daily crosses of pain and suffering, it is the Catholic Church. But this is what many Christians don't like to hear. Crosses are heavy to carry. 
They are not comfortable. They are unpleasant. No one, no one likes to go through pain and suffering. If there was a vaccine that one could take and be immune for life from pain and suffering, many will go for it, however expensive it may be. This is why many Christians want to hear a prosperity gospel and they are carried away by it and deceived by it. Suffering is not your portion. Poverty is not your portion because we hate crosses. We hate pain and suffering. But the Catholic Church teaches that in celebrating the cross, in celebrating the cross of Jesus, we see the glory that lies behind every cross. The Catholic Church does not teach us to go looking for crosses, no. But it gives us the mentality to have and the approach to take when crosses come. Because of course, we can never avoid them. Even when you don't want them, even when you try to avoid them, they come to you. A pidgin English expression says, Nyanga they sleep, trouble they can wake up. So rather than curse your crosses, rather than try to cut them short, rather than try to throw them away, see them as stepping stones to your glory and carry them with joy. For there is light at the end of the tunnel. Only for those who persevere till the end. There is glory hidden behind every cross. So do not just remain at the pain that comes with the crosses. Imagine the glory that lies hidden at the end of the cross. In the words of St. Paul in Romans chapter 8, The troubles we go through now, beloved, are nothing compared to the glory yet to be revealed. But only a few people get to that glory. Those who carried their crosses joyfully and persevered till the end. A greater part of us miss out on the glory at the end because we would have thrown the crosses already. We would have cursed and hated the crosses. No wonder for such people, their pains and sufferings are meaningless and empty because it ends at that. But for those who see beyond their crosses, their sufferings and pains become blessings, lessons to learn and to get out of them stronger and better. But when you carry your crosses with a lot of sorrow, with a lot of disappointment and grief, you come out bitter and more hurt. But when you carry your crosses with joy, you come out stronger and better. And that is the secret. So let us ask ourselves, how do you see your crosses? What is your approach or disposition towards your crosses? What is your mentality about crosses? Do you see them as punishment? For some people, when difficulties, pain and suffering come their way, they think, oh, God has abandoned and forsaken them. God has punished them. God hates them. Do you see your crosses as heavy burdens that you cannot carry? Remember, God does not allow crosses to come to us that he knows we will not be able to carry. We are not tempted beyond our limits, beloved. Or do you see your crosses as ugly masks that veil your glory? If you were told, for example, that there is 40 million francs CFA, 40 million pounds, 40 million euros, 40 million dollars or 40 million naira hidden in a pit of physis and all you need to do is to dig it out. Will the stench scare you? Will the odor scare you? Will you not rather look at what the outcome will be and you'll be ready to take the risks? What is stench or odor compared to 40 millions? That is how we should see crosses. Like the work you do, however strenuous it may be, you do it and you keep doing it because you know at the end there is a pay that comes and you need that pay. That is the feast we celebrate today, the exaltation of the Holy Cross. We hail crosses. We exalt them because through them we get to glory. Behind every cross, beloved, there is a hidden glory. It is like a treasure hidden and we need to dig out that puzzle. 
Do you not praise what gives you glory? We exalt the cross because through Jesus' cross, he gained glory for himself and he brought salvation for us. This is what the second reading of today says. St. Paul, writing to the Philippians, says, Jesus did not count equality with God. He emptied himself, being in the form of a servant, and he accepted to die a shameful death on a cross. But out of that death, God raised him and gave him a name that is above every other name, so that at the name of Jesus, every knee should bow in heaven and on earth and under the earth. But you see, that glory comes to him after the cross. His enemies thought the cross was to humiliate him and disgrace him. They thought they were shaming him by hanging him on the wood of the cross. But oh, they were rather leading him to his glory. For it was after that Good Friday that made Easter Sunday very beautiful and sweet. Imagine that there was never a Good Friday. Easter Sunday would have made no sense. So this is how we see crosses. Because we do not only remain at the Good Friday, we carry the crosses with joy, anticipating and waiting in joyful hope for the Easter Sunday that comes after the Good Friday. The cross is saving and healing. In the first reading, Moses made a bronze serpent and put it on a standard. Whoever was beaten and looked up to that serpent was healed and saved. And it pointed to Jesus in the gospel. Just as Moses lifted up the bronze serpent, so too Jesus has been lifted on the wood of the cross. Anyone who looks up to him will be saved. And Jesus himself says, they will look up to the one whom they have pierced. Crosses don't kill us, beloved. Crosses come to make us strong and better if we look up to the cross of Christ as an example. In the words of St. Peter, Christ suffered for you, leaving you an example. So, beloved, let our mentality change. Let our approach and dispositions change. Do not be afraid of your crosses, however they may be, whatever they may be, however they come. It may be childlessness, it is a cross you have to carry. It may be, oh, a sickness that you have done everything that money can do, yet you still have to suffer. It is a cross, you have to carry it. It may be a bad name you have. Despite the good you try to do, people still give you a bad name. It is your own cross, carry it. It may be a particular child. No matter what you have done, the child remains wayward. It is your own cross, carry it. It may be your spouse. It is your cross. Carry it. It may be failure in your job. Wherever you find yourself in business, it is your own cross. Beloved, carry it. Let us learn to carry our crosses with joy. Don't curse your crosses, beloved. Because behind those crosses, there is a glory that is hidden for you. So let us change our mentality and approach. When crosses come, carry them with joy. Sing and thank God. Carry your crosses with joy. Because you know that at the end of that cross, there is a glory that awaits you. So courage, what is the cross you carry? Look up to Jesus. Look up to him hanging on his own cross. He carried it and at the end, there was an Easter Sunday. You may be going through your own Good Friday now. You may be carrying your own cross and on your own road to Calvary. It is not simple. It is not easy. It is painful. It is hurting. But let the thoughts of an Easter Sunday give you the courage and the hope to ride on. Do not be discouraged. Do not give up. God knows and he suffers with you. He carries the cross with you and he will bring you to your own joy of an Easter Sunday. Amen. Courage, beloved. Don't give up. Don't be discouraged. Carry your cross till the very end. God loves you. God bless you. The Lord be with you. May the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, and the Son and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. When your crosses come, carry them smiling because you know that behind those crosses, there is a glory that awaits you.